What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Sims Reject here, and welcome back to the channel, boys. We're back with some more of the Compton A&T Warriors Dynasty here on College Football Revamp. Season 2 is in the books. We went 1-11 and 11 again. I saved you guys the embarrassment. I've saved you guys the wasted time of watching us lose 11 of these games, man. We simmed through a lot of them. We played some of them. It was ugly. We didn't get the job done, but we had a successful season when it came to recruiting, and I'm looking forward to that talent that's going to be on the field for us next season. Alright, boys, and I was completely wrong about who was going to win, and that's championship georgia actually takes a gut-riching l to notre dame 31 10 they got skunked in the natty shut out in the second half congrats to notre dame on being this season's college football playoff champions now take a look at our guys man armand hughes was top 100 in the nation in passing yards with under 2000 not sure how that worked but hey i'm gonna take it when it comes to running the ball man we didn't have a single a thousand yard rusher but that's not really my stilo anyway but hopefully we can make it that way soon when it comes to receiving the ball stevenson only has 600 yards receiving on the whole entire year. Mo Thornton leads the nation in tackles for the second straight season with 59. Williams is right there behind him at 55. Sack leaders Morris had our most sacks for the squad with three and a half. Pick leaders Orange, the true freshman, actually had four picks this year. I'm very thoroughly impressed with that. And then Bo Thomas, longest field goal of the year was 45. Now let's take a full look at the stats, man. Seven touchdowns, 16 picks, 39% completion percentage. On the ground, three yards to carry for Morgan. Hughes had four yards to carry. For Almost four yards of carry for Nick Martin. Seven and a half yards of carry for John Stevenson. John Stevenson led all receivers with 36 catches, 599 yards, three touchdowns. John Smith, 32 catches, 440 yards, two touchdowns. Vontae Thomas, excuse me, 28 receptions, 343 yards, a touchdown. Bruno Morgan had a touchdown through the air as well, as did Clinton Dawson. Blocking wise, William King, 11 pancakes. Well, look how many sacks we gave up, man. 28 sacks given up by this old line. That doesn't mean that's all, that's all the sacks we gave up either. Daniel Williams led everybody in tackles with 81 on the squad sack leader we already know was morris tackles for loss clayton and bingham pick leader kenneth orange the true freshman so shout out to him doing the damn thing he also had the most drop picks with eight Devonte thomas played both sides of the ball he had four drop picks as well all right boys so steve smith technically gets fired but don't you boys worry we will be bringing steve smith right back to be our coach all right boys so when it comes to the offseason we don't lose anybody from the squad we do get four transfer requests we get a left in from texas a and them, left guard from San Diego State, running back from Arizona, and a strong safety from Nevada. I'm going to go ahead and accept all of them right now because I'm pretty sure we need the depth. Now, one bad thing about being quote unquote fired, I do lose all of my upgrades and I don't start my coaches off on, on, on level 20 or anything like that. So I won't be able to re regain any of those. But we got three guys that we want to split 10,000 points. All of our recruitment is pretty much maxed out too. That's the tough part. All right, guys. So we do get two of the three recruits. We get Curtis Fountain and we also get Get Matt Smith. We came on to that one kicker late. That's what she said. So, you know, wasn't sure if we were going to be able to get him or not, but it was like a shot in the dark. Just wanted to see. And he doesn't sign anywhere. So, number one kicker in the nation. Probably going to have to walk on somewhere. But to end it, man, we end up with a top 15 recruiting class. One five star, five four stars, three three stars. Go ahead and take a look at these guys that you guys will be replacing. I will be making a post on my community post for the positions that I need. But this gives you guys hella opportunities opportunities for those of you that missed the first cutoff and you know what i'm saying we're gonna be playing a lot more games this season than we did last season for sure we got some ballers here now man and these guys should be ready to make an impact day one here in compton all right, boys, so time for position changes. We have two athletes, Curtis Fountain, 83 speed. Take a look at some of the other things he does. He catches the ball well, carries the ball well. He runs routes well. But the streets keep telling me that he's a quarterback. 80 throw power, 82 throw accuracy with that 83 speed. Let's take a look at the quarterbacks we already have now. 80 speed for Hughes. I feel like Hughes can be a decent quarterback. Just a 65 overall. Fountain comes in and will be a 78 overall quarterback off the rip. We don't really need any receivers. We don't really need any running backs. And we can still put him at other positions right now curtis fountain moving a quarterback we got Derek tompkins 100 not a quarterback not an offensive player whatsoever and he's going to be able to give us some some help on the offensive line coming in as a 67 65 247 absolute hoss right guard 67 overall 69 center but we need that help on the inside all right boys so we got four quarterbacks in the quarterback room i'm probably going to cut rodney lamb don't need him simon's a junior hughes is a, is a sophomore fountain is going to be a true freshman starter so two true freshman starters back-to-back -back years but armand he 
refuse to not take the job, grab the bull by the horns and run away with it. And when you get a five star recruit that comes in and wants to help you make a difference day one, you got to oblige. Take a look at the running backs. Uh, everybody's going to stay put here. We also got a good running back. Well, uh, transfer and Smoke Grimes, but Smoke Grimes has to sit out one year. Bruno Morgan was a Juco guy, so he started year one. He's going to be starting year two. Nick Martin is going to be looking to take over after that. Wide receivers, we get two dogs. We get Matt Smith, speed guy, and we get Jason West, a speed guy. So now it looks like Sean Smith could probably stay on just one side of the ball, especially depending on how these guys train. Uh, well, these two won't train. Stevenson will train. Thomas will train. Brown and Bird will train, but you guys know we put the best product on the field at any given time. We don't play favorites. At tight end, we continue to get better, but Matt Jenkins plays pretty well. Left tackle, Michael Hartman is going to start, even though they say he's a bust. We get a 65 overall. Transfer and Ben Auten, he won't be able to play day one. So with that, we're going to go ahead and take Boss Ross. And we're going to move him to the left guard because Mangum goes to down to a 50-something. We'll leave Mangum at center at the 60. Derek Tompkins, you already know he's going to be starting at right guard and right tackle. We're going to be welcoming in Eric Bentley. Still going to be looking to get better at that position for sure. Left end, Jerome McCoy is going to be starting right end. True freshman Bobby Harrison is going to be the starter. D tackle, we welcome in David Williams and Kyle Williams. Bingo played well last year, man, but hey, you're going to have to find your way on the field through your play. Left outside linebacker, Mark yourself is going to be holding it down. We still got Jeremiah Jones. Middle linebacker, Sonny McGill. I'm really looking forward to this dude holding it down. Michael Fields, we just brought him in as well. Move him to the left outside linebacker, actually. 71 overall. We got Dominic Davis, another Juco guy, right outside linebacker. We're going to run multiple offense. We have double middle linebackers out there a lot. Mo Thornton is going to have to just take a step back. Let's go ahead and take Andrew Reed. I'll move Andrew Reed inside. Yeah, 87 speed. We'll leave Dominic Davis on the outside with that 89 speed. I'll take one of these right outside linebackers as well. Probably self. We'll move him over to the right side to hopefully still get some reps. Cornerback, we get better for the second straight year. We get Isaac Gibson and Mo Moore. Mo Moore is a freshman, so he's going to be here for three to four years. Isaac Gibson is a Juco, so we got to make the most of having him here on the squad. Free safety, Sean Smith still holding it down. Ryan Martin comes in looking like he's ready to lay the boom. You know what I mean? Could play some linebacker as well. You know, we like to bring those linebackers down to the box. But at strong safety, we're a little beat, bro. We're a little beat. So let's see if Brian Martin can play strong safety. He's a 64, 87 speed. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I want all my best guys on the field at the same time. Play every single snap. All right, boys. Here we are at training results. And got some sad news out of it, man. John Stevenson goes down two points he loses plus 11 in awareness cannot say i am surprised he has not produced in the two seasons this series has been going on so position by position travis Simon goes up one ar 15 goes up plus four to a 69 he's trying to compete for that spot you hear me running back smoke grimes goes up plus two bruno morgan plus two nick martin plus two plus four hagan goes down minus four the rest of our receivers Devontae thomas goes down negative freaking four dog tight end both get plus one left tackle plus five four doesn't matter boss ross goes up plus three i and loses negative three he transfer here what the hell i guess that has to do with like our um our facilities and stuff like that as we go through some of these other things see if we see any big hell bingham goes down negative three but i felt like he had a decent season plus two to jeremiah jones powell goes down negative three plus three to mo thor and he continues to show out williams goes down plus a uh, minus one plus one to key and self sack excuse me goes up plus one orange orange led the team and picks it goes down negative four that's nuts free safety sean smith goes up plus two strong safety everybody else gets pluses there as well Bo thomas stays the same our punter goes up plus one here we are at the cut player stage boys and we have 17 players over our allotted roster size now with that we're gonna get rid of some of this low hanging fruit guys we brought in when we thought we were going to do this thing a little bit differently all right boys so as we prep for season number three i'm trying to see some options here right so we already know i'm probably not going to start armand hughes but i don't really want to red shirt him because he's a he's a year older than fountain and i don't see a world where he'll take over fountain and running back everybody's gonna stay still receiver i don't know i don't, I don't know bro because i I know gary brown was that transfer we're going to end up replacing one of you guys with i'll do jenkins paul i think i'm gonna just let everybody rock this year bro i'm, I'm not gonna waste our, anybody's time with red shirts all right boys so this is our schedule this year i let the computer pick it i'm not changing it i'm not putting any super duper hard teams on it we already be losing by 30 to teams that have zero to no wins so we got kent state san diego state georgia state south alabama coastal carolina kentucky wake forest wisconsin abide north carolina southern miss navy and purdue all right guys so coming into season 
number three. We have one preseason All-American. We have 12 preseason All-Conference. Naturally, we're coming into this season as the worst team in the country. Still D's across the board. 63 overall, 63, 60 offense, but a 68 defense can help us do some something strange for a little piece of change. Conference outlook, based off history, they got us finished dead last behind the Army and Notre Dame. Our preseason All-American is going to be Mo Thornton. Like I said, man, he's been a beast since he stepped on the uh, campus. 91 tackles year one, 59 tackles year two, and that's mainly because I didn't play all of the games. Preseason All-Conference is going to be mostly on the defense side of the ball. We got Bingham, Thornton, Orange, Smith, Lucas. Then on the second team, we got Morgan, Stevenson, Lemon, Morris, Self, Bray, Williams. Championship outlook for the next four years. They got us at 126, 105, 101, 57. All right, boys. So right now, our recruiting board is a little lackluster. 13 guys on them on it right now. All three stars. But remember, we have no more restrictions when it comes to recruiting. So we're going to be looking for those low lock cheese guys to bring into the program. Because right now, some of these guys wouldn't make a difference. But at the end of the day, for what we're trying to build here, they're probably not going to cut it. All right, boys. So we got the first week of the season all summed up. Next episode, we will be taking on Kent State in our home opener for season number three here in 2025, man. Is this the season that your Zulu will? Warriors will finally make progress, win more than one game, and you know, compete for something, make a bowl game something. I don't know. You guys let me know down in the comment section below. If you enjoy, stop and smash that like button, hit me up in the comment section below. Subscribe if you're new. It's your book with Sam's Reject, RKGames.com. I'm out of here. Peace. Niggas want me to lose, but I can't. I've been stacking this shit to the ceiling. Know some niggas with bodies, and it ain't no probably. We never speak on them killers. Everybody on my block, go get them some money. It's only a couple of drillers. I've been fucking them hoes, man. Them bitches ain't no.